hello everyone welcome back in this video we'll see how to create the windows ec2 instance from the aws console so i'm going to the ec2 okay so here uh, you need to select uh, from which region you want to create the instance so i'm going to choose the asia pacific ap south one region okay i don't have any instances running okay looks like i have some snapshot okay let me create the instance launch instances Okay, here uh, you need to select which you know operating system you require. So here I'm just choosing the Windows, and uh, here you can select the Amazon Machine Image (AMI). So uh, this Microsoft Windows Server 2022, which is eligible for free tier. Okay, I'm just going to choose the 2019 and uh, it is t2 micro one v cpu and uh, one gig memory so if you want to you know choose a different uh, type then it may not be applicable for free tier and uh, you may end up uh, paying some money for that okay and uh, here you can create a key pair Okay, and click on create key pair so you may need to save this okay next i'll be using the default network settings the vpc subnet and uh, other information and uh, here i'm just allowing the rdp traffic from anywhere and uh, next click on launch instance okay let's wait for this uh, instance to be ready here you can click on view all instances and uh, let's keep refresh until it is showing running state okay so now we can see uh, the vm the instance is in running state okay to connect to this windows instance you can just open it and uh, click on connect and uh, since it is the windows you can use the rdp client and uh, you know to view the password you can click on get password and you need to decrypt the password okay so let's wait for at least uh, four minutes after launching the instance then only we will be able to decrypt the password which is auto generated so here uh, you can see the instance id and uh, public ip address private ip address and uh, here you can see more details about this instance and uh, under the security you can see the inbound rules and uh, outbound rules so we just allowed only rdp port number which is 3389 from any source and uh, outbound rule there is no restriction as you can see the destination 0.0.0.0, .0, and the port range is all and here you can see the networking details and the subnet that we used and the availability zone and storage uh, we have a single disk which is 30 gig and attached to this instance 
and uh, here you can see delete on termination so when we initiate a termination of this instance this uh, you know the volume will be deleted okay let's try now go to connect rdp client and uh, get password okay now uh, we need to upload the private key file that we just you know downloaded and then decrypt password okay this is the password and uh, you know this is the username and you can just copy the public dns to connect to this instance you can open the msdsc and uh, from this uh, you know remote desktop connection you can type the computer name and click on connect okay so you can enter the uh, username password and click on okay okay so we have successfully connected to this windows instance so if you are not using this and uh, you can you know just uh, stop the instance and if you are not going to use it permanently then you can terminate the instance so that uh, you know you won't be end up paying any cost if it is going beyond the free tier limit Okay, so that's it in this video and uh, I'll see you in the next. Thank you.